started yes okay so i have the real software here uh right now i have set the screws on the tweeter all the way tight so this should give distortion so let's just do a quick measure sweep so what i'm doing here is a 20 to 20000 hertz sweep um so let's just go ahead and do that so now i'm only using the left speaker that one so i'll just do a quick start All right, so what you can see here, this is a sweep, the frequency response, and here you can see distortion on the tweeter. If I do the same measurement on the right speaker, it works fine. So let me just go ahead and do that. I'll flip from L to R, and then I'll do the same sweep again. So you can see here, this is the second sweep from this speaker only, and here there's no distortion. The reason why that's giving all this distortion, come on, get up, I'll show you up close, is I first thought the issue was with the tweeter and I sent it over to you guys, but later on, I realized it's not the tweeter because when you guys said that there's nothing wrong with the tweeter, I thought that must, there must be something wrong with the faceplate then. It has to be. And that's what it turned out to be. So to fix this, all I have to do is take a screwdriver. You can see right now, just come closer. Right now it is tight. Okay, so I can't tighten it anymore. All four screws are tight. All I have to do is just make them a bit loose. There. One turn. One turn one turn so i've just made it loose so that the tweeter is kind of like moving around if you notice carefully it's moving around so the screws are not all the way going in and touching this plate that's what i feel okay so i'll go back here and uh, come in Oops, and i'll connect the cables nothing changed the same tweeter same everything and then I go back and I attach it okay. now let's do the sweep again remember this is the sweep that we did first on the left speaker which showed a lot of distortion here if you see here um, it actually shows something like 6% distortion 12% distortion. This is at minus 30, guys. So I'm minus 30 volume right now. If I, <coughs> the more I increase the volume, the bad, the worse it gets. Okay. So now let's do another measure. If you remember, I just made that a bit loose. I will <coughs> just do the left speaker right now. L. Okay. Let's do it now. there the distortion is gone and this is really weird because at first i thought it was a tweeter it's not really the tweeter there's something to do with you know the measurement specifications maybe the screw is too long it is touching the face plate i mean the front uh uh this thing what, what was it called anyway so now let me just Create the problem again, okay? So come here. I just take it out, right? I'm doing nothing, this is all real time. There's no editing. I just take the screwdriver again, make it tight. I'm not using too much force here. Just here, just finger tightening. That's it. Go back, I plug it in, it 
I do it. Okay, this was the previous test. There was no distortion. Let's go to measure again. Um, nothing changed. Start. Okay, it's even giving you a message saying the me measurement distortion is very high, 12%, the level may be too high, somewhere along the signal path. It is giving me that message, so let's just go and see. And there you go. All it takes is to tighten the screw. So what I'm going to do, and I've already tested this, is I'm going to put these rubber washers, right, these four rubber washers, in between the tweeter and the face plate and what that will do it will add some space so that the screws can be fully tightened and at the same time don't go all the way in or touch this thing so i remove the tweeter i put these things here. Three, four. Put the tweeter back and screw it back in. And I'm just deliberately keeping it loose right now. So I can get all four. Okay, now I'm going to tighten it so that this doesn't get loose and fall over time. So it's pretty tight now. But there's a gap now, right? Now I can move it back in here. Boom. Let's redo the test again. Measure, no change. No distortion. That was the video. And I do have some samples of where you can hear the distortion. Uh, in music so I will uh, put that in separate videos I don't know how to do all this video editing so I'll give two videos you can hear the before and after and hear the difference so there's a manufacturing defect with the faceplate and something to do with the tolerances between the screws and the nuts is basically faulty there if you are willing to send a new uh, faceplate, I'll, I'll be happy to send this one back to you so that you can actually review it with your production department and see if there's any other uh, issues probably floating out there. All right, that's it. Thanks.